Hi, and welcome to our channel. Today, we're exploring tiny houses in Taiwan, Norway, and the Netherlands. Please subscribe and click on the notification bell to receive our latest videos if you haven't done so yet. Thank you for joining in this journey. Meet Nabhulet, designed by Lund Hagum in Norway. It's a small annex replacing two small sheds on the property. The new building has a distinctive roof free spanning. The roof folds down to the ground, creating a ramp up to a viewing platform connecting to the upper cliff. The project began as an idea for how to utilize a naturally sheltered area surrounded by large rocks and dense vegetation. The idea developed to create a way to climb up from the shelter to see the panoramic view over the sea, which led to the characteristic shape of the roof. A stepped ramp leads up from the terrain to the roof. A sheltered atrium is formed by the house and the cliffs where the interior concrete bench extends from the interior to the exterior tying it all together. The annex contains a suspended bed, a small living space and a bathroom. The building occupies a small footprint but the space expands vertically into three levels the basement, the ground floor level, and the roof. The annex is accessed by a footpath that runs along the small meandering wooded area to the north of the site. The slit on the roof pours light into the building combined with a hammock. Let's visit Indigo Cabin designed by Woon Pioneers. Amsterdam studio Woon Pioneers has hidden a prefabricated wooden cabin with large windows and tall, curving interiors with a forest glade in the Netherlands. The dwelling is built with a prefabricated laminated timber structure to minimize waste, transportation, construction time, and in turn, environmental impact. With Indigo, Wound Pioneers aims to make personal architecture and a healthy way of building accessible to a wide audience. The Indigo cabins are designed to be highly adjustable, meaning their size is tailored to the specific needs and chosen site of the client. However, each one utilizes the same prefabricated elements that are combined to form spacious interiors characterized by tall ceilings that curve down to meet the walls. This distinctive curved interior is engineered to strengthen the corners of the cabin and negate the need for structural support that would truncate the space, leaving an open, flexible interior. Externally, the cabin is finished with a prefabricated standing seam roof and stained larch wood cladding, while the interior walls are finished with spruce, complemented by a polished cement floor. Let's explore DH House designed by UZ Architecture in Taiwan. The project takes a simple form with many low-tech design strategies to reach its current state. The client's site is located in the center of Taiwan on the top of a mountain in between two valleys. The existing piece of land was a highly complex and hilly terrain with a community site limitation that didn't allow to make any big land modifications. Therefore, taking advantage of the astonishing views of the valleys, maintaining privacy from the public road, and strategically orienting the building in the hot and humid Taiwan climate became the major site factors for this project. In terms of building methods, there are two main constraints that ultimately shape the project. Firstly, due to the low technical capacity of the workers in the local area, it was necessary to simplify the design in order to ensure the project can be executed. 
Secondly, difficult access to the site for large construction vehicles. Due to this factor, they opted for a more flexible and lightweight metal structure as the optimum construction method for this project. The project is formed by creating a 5 by 16 meter volume with a north-south orientation that flies over the terrain, creating a covered parking outdoor terrace space. The whole volume has a double-pitched roof without a drainage channel, proving to be very helpful during the typhoon season while giving the volume a more solid appearance. On the north side, the pitched roof extends outward by 80 centimeters to provide shade for the large windows of the master bedroom and bathroom. Allowing the space to have total privacy but still have a full panoramic views of the surrounding landscape. On the south side, public areas of the house are designed with views of the second valley and existing public road. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to hear about our latest videos. Stay tuned.